a minute and a half of poop and food and just in quick rapid succession and turds and retching sound effects. It was good. All right, so that's going to be like the stream tonight. First game I have for you is this MS-DOS game that will be a miracle if I can get this thing to work the way I want it to. I think I will. I think I will. It's got one of the best... It's got one of the best names ever. Someone just said that I spoiled Game of Thrones because I talked about the poop and food montage. It serves a purpose in the story, I swear to God. So I'm sorry, I spoiled it for you. Um, but if, if poop and food montage is the biggest spoiler that you could get from Game of Thrones, then you're watching it for the wrong reasons. Okay, listen. For real. For whoop, for whoop. I have a game here called... I don't remember the name of it. It's for the best. Let's just forget this ever happened. It's called Wacky Funsters. A Geek Wad's Guide to Gaming. It's a little, a little loud. Tsunami, huh? I get it. Because it's like the sound of a tsunami. It's a little terrible, actually, but alright. So this is Wacky Funsters. I don't know anything about this game other than what you're looking at now. Look at the- wow. That's us, fellow gamers. Wacky. Or start to a Sunday stream ever? I think so. So, wow, this guy, this, um, this geek wad. Wacky. Wacky. So this geek wad, um, has gray hair. <laughs> Jane Sturgeon Woman Cardinal Gary Mr. Color Cycle Cox Brian Mad Dog Ellis Becky Those Are My Kids Jarrett Sorry, Those Are My Kids? They all have wacky nicknames, everyone. I'm- by the way, I've pressed a number of buttons and I cannot seem to start the game. Okay, I had to press escape. Software theft protection. List two words which rhyme with purple. Nurple. What is Gumby? Oh, this is wacky. What is Gumby? Clay. Correct. Now you should see what Gumby can do today. Was that a joke? You think this is a fucking joke? What is an occasional chair the rest of the time? Bed? Correct. I think you're ready for the double jeopardy round. I have a what? Did I win? Oh shit, Game of Thrones spoilers, watch out! Greetings, mighty geek wad gamer. I am King Wacky the Third, fun loving ruler of the kingdom of the purple nurple, whatever he said. This is the If you have to call your game and the things in your game wacky, you've already lost. The Game of Thrones. I am greatly relieved you have arrived before my final hour. Many times as the sun has set on yet another day clouded by impending doom, I have anxiously searched the Outer Kingdom for someone as brave and bony as you are. For dinner. I am in need of your fearless manual dexterity, for you see my kingdom is in great peril and you alone must attempt to save it. Let me explain. Why- why does the hero need to be bony? That's a little weird. What, what's wrong with you, King? In the carefree days of the not-too-distant past, adults and children alike traveled from lands to the world over to be entertained by my sparkling wit and my enchanting games. But alas, as you can see, my once regal visage has faded before its time, and fun is now but a phantom in my dreams. Yeah, me too, King. Suddenly I'm I oh I am old and tired. My health is failing and my beloved games are yes yesterday are so dynamic, today are busily cheap and tawdy oh, tawdry. Yes, Geekwad, Tr twisted remnants of genuine gaming. 
This is too real for today, King. Oh, stop fucking talking! How has such a travesty come to pass? Well, you see, dear Geekwad, the diabolical Duke of Wainington curses high. It is behind it all. He was once my trusted advisor before his greed led him to covet my kingdom for his own. And now the fiend has cast an evil spell on me and my kingdom in an attempt to change the course of gaming forever! We're, we're wacky. I implore you, valiant Geekwad, in the interests of all things sacred and holy, or at least wacky and fun, you must intervene. Following each of your gaming missions, you will return here to my throne room and report your progress. Your crusade will not be complete until you defeat the dastardly Duke. I'm always surprised at how much trash exists, no matter how much I try play. There's just always more. I must warn you, Geekwad, things in this time of wickedness are not as they seem. Though at one time I was a strong and mighty warrior such as yourself, the curse will work to convince you otherwise. Please. Please! Stop! I just, whatever, skipped it. Godspeed and investigate the crest and beware the duke. There is no end to trash in this world. What, what, what is this? T tennis? Bubsy? Roadkill? Uh, b c clown turds? And, and swole arm. I guess we're going swole arm. Wacky music! Alright! Wacky, wacky music! Oh my god. <laughs> you can't let him do that, Geekwad! That's the intro? It, it's just called Big Guy with Muscles? Hello, young man. It, remember me? I'm Miss Snodgrass, your third grade school teacher. How could you forget? I'm the one you used to shoot spitwads at during story time. How much more story do we have to endure? Today's lesson is on how to defend yourself against those big guys with muscles. If you don't want your participants left dangling, I suggest you listen to the rules for once in your life. And remember, it's all fun and games until someone gets an eye poked out. Object of the game is to beat the living daylights out of your opponent. To win, you must kill your opponent. Shoot the target multiple times until it dies. To control, use the keypad. To attack high with your squirting ink pen, press 7. Oh. Low. 1. Avoid low blows, press 9. I'll just spam buttons, it's fine. Bud, Bud Mooner. Fucking believable. Ah, uh, stop with the story! Yo. Hiya. Uh, the name's Bud. Head honcho of Bud Mooner's Frigateer Pair Service. Some beer, but blah, 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 sorry about that. That sardine and something. Normally, I don't pick on you. Blah, discombobulate your motor sensors. I need to lower the game. A little, because it's it's just too loud. We went from Game of Thrones to King of the Hill on the beach. This is wacky. It's okay. So, oh my god, it's just a terrible fighting game. How do I move? As you would imagine, it's absolutely horrendous to control. Um, where is this dude pulling a TV out of? Is that a TV? Is that supposed to be a TV? I love the the sounds. Damn! There's like there's no health bar. Look at his shirt. What what what's what am I looking at specifically? Oh, it's the kitchen sink. I thought it was a TV. It's a kitchen sink. He also has a a, a purple dildo he pulls out every now and then. 
This is tr truly a bad omen of things to come tonight. If this is how we're starting the stream... Oh no, again? I don't- I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here, I mean... I guess I, I just have to knock him off one more time, I, I, I would only hope. Come on, you're defeated. No, no, you've lost. You've lost! You- you- surrender now, surrender! I love that there's a jump button that serves no purpose whatsoever. Worst hitboxes in any video game. What are you looking at? Uh, was it? B buckle your belt so you can't see your own boots. For little dweeb goose punches, just like a Mack truck heading down to Joycey Turnpike. Are you? What, are you, Joycey Turnpike? Just, you just full of surprises. Just give me a full seconds to reload the digestive system. Burp you from Kingdom Come. All right, I'm I'm ready to take on my next opponent and then never never play this mini game again. Oh, okay. Well, I think um. <laughs> There's not much of a curve of difficulty here. It just goes from <laughs> redneck bud to the, sh the swollest man in existence. Squeeze you like orange juice. I bounce you like a bad check. Your noodle body is no match for my stri stri striated muscles. My crab flex. Striated muscles. My crab flex will really immobilize your entire cerebral cortex. The super atlas punch will turn your face into oatmeal. My dumbbell will roll you like a jelly donut. Your flabby muscles will melt like a grilled cheese sandwich. I pop you like a giant zit. This beach is mine. Not even close to looking anything like Arnold. I don't, I don't particularly care though. That's- you're cheating. Then again, I guess I'm cheating, too. This... This is how your typical... Uh... <laughs> species of muscle beach attracts a mate. With strenuous flexing. Okay. Okay. It may look scary, but this is just an attempt okay. to find the perfect mate. I so I can't exit out of this unless I defeat the muscle okay. butt. So I have to defeat muscle butt. Okay. That was incredible what you have done with such puny body. Now now he's got a different accent. Listen to this Schwartz Arnold nigger never quit. I pit my powerful mu I can't believe I fucking called it. Pit my powerful muscles against you and that jellyfish jellyfish body of yours. You can choose another opponent. Wow. That is some name. That is some name. I'm not visiting the king. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a new game. I don't want to do this one anymore. It's bad. <laughs> I guess I gotta see what the Bubsy game is. Okay, that's Bambi. What is this? Rambi? What, like, like, Rambo? Rambi versus Blambo? I, now I'm just confused. First of all, Rambi is copyright rare. 
Click to choose your player character. What? <laughs> I, uh, okay. Howdy! Welcome to my enchanted forest. It used to be beautiful places until the bad people came around here and ruined it. Glad you decided to uh, be my friend and help me fix things. It's about time we animals got a chance to get even. Ah, here comes... Here comes one of my special friends with a present. It's Rambi the Deer, carrying an M60 machine gun. It's a gift. A free gift. Uh, with no strings attached. Fucking animals. Oh boy. Isn't it pretty? That would work very nicely for you. It matches your eyes. Now you're ready to go out and spill some blood. Please be careful, though. The bad people seem to come out of nowhere. Try not to get... Try not to hit our trees, okay? Can we... No, just... He's naughty. You get big points for wasting him. He killed Rambi's mom? Holy shit, this got dark. 100 points for the off-road geeks. The logger is worth 200 points. Please don't hurt our friend, Mr. Ranger. Plug the oil man, you get 300. The hunter's worth 400. And 1,000 for that Blambo menace. Now, uh, scurry along and make the forest a safe place for all of us animals to live in. Remember, if you're really, really good, Rambi will award you with some more fun toys. Ow. That's exactly Ow. the target I shouldn't have shot. Oh, it's fucking terrible. It's a shooting gallery. It's like a like one of those shitty hunting games, but it's 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 really bad. I mean, they just spin. You don't even hear the gun shoot unless it's your unless you hit Blambo. Ow. Ow. I'll just yeah, I'll just play this for the next 4 hours. Ow. I've already... This is, keep in mind, this is one-fifth of this game's content, and you just saw all of it. Alright, you know what? No, that's not true, because we didn't choose Blambo yet. It's also piss easy. No music. magic word is annihilate. Can you do that? Sure you can. That's why Rambi's gonna reward you with bigger and better toy! Yeah, but I don't even feel like I'm using a gun. Careful with the M203. It's an M16 with a 40mm grenade launcher. You might put an eye out with that one. If you do, just put some salve on it! Die, infidel. Oh my god. The squirrel just said, die, infidel. This is fucked. Howdy. Welcome to Blambo's Forest of Destruction, where only good animals are dead one. Don't get me wrong, we'd like to preserve them, but my little brother done drank all the formaldehyde. Oh, well. Now to assist you, your carnage, that da 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 dang old Blambo demonstrate how to walk softly and carry a big gun, M60. It's the same fucking thing. Thanks, Blambo. That little baby do a real number of some rumbers of unprotected flesh dang old. All you gotta do now is go blast the little bloody slow down the little stucker, they'll be a pop up everywhere, bass bat, just just click your mouse and just shoot anything that move. Hundred points for flippin' the mammal with a blowhole. <laughs> ben and Stumpy. This do us a favor and leave stinkweed alone. Why? Why why do you want stinkweed? Plug would is spotted out, you get 400. And a thousand big ones with that Rambi menace. Now you're ready to rock and roll. If you're brave, good, brave, old, brave, war, just brave, see, it's serious artillery. So get out there, this is make that American proud to be American. Wow. All this setup for this. They have a total of like. Between all of the animals, they have, like, seven frames of animation. Less. The, actually, the only one that's animated is, is fucking Rambi. Why is a dolphin in the forest? What the fuck is a dolphin doing in the forest? I got... Sorry, that was, that was a lot. I got irrationally angry at something like that. I shouldn't... I've been told. 
by my rabbit. My rabbit friend in real life. My rabbit therapist. Eh, don't get angry. A dolphin's in a forest, Doc. But this is, no, this is really wacky. I mean, the game is called Wacky, um... What's it called again? Dang. There's yeah, some nice shooting. You just earned your own NRA lifetime membership away. There's more. Blambo would like to award you with an M203. Mm. Yeah. Me have some... You have some serious real estate with that puppy. I think it's time for this to see how it came for me. Mm. It's like a nice... Folk Folgen. Good evening, as little shit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh my god. It's gonna be a ridiculous name like Spelvis. Howdy, son. Well, my name is, oh uh, well, let's just say I'm the king. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I love to eat. And it's my duty to make sure you're as big as a pig I am. That way I'll know you're a real fan. If you can complete some lyrics the way they should have been written, I'll make sure you get a backstage pass and all the greasy double cheeseburgers you can move down. Blame removed. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to smell. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Son, don't ever audition for a name that tune. Your best bet is to go on back to working at the drive thru Take my hand. Take my whole life, too, for I can't help. Falling in love with you. Oh shit, oh god, the various stages of Elvis. Oh no, this is like a year before death, Elvis. This is drugs, Elvis. You must have listened to that Pat Boone one too many times. Love me. Slender, love me fat. Oh, my stomach's full. Love, answer one more question correctly and you may continue your quest. A hunk of hunk of burning. I guess I do I have to answer correctly. Oh, it's all food related, right? Excuse me, but I think you've confused me with that pudgy guy on the postage stamp. I'm the king of calories. I write music to eat by. See, and you can apply it directly to your thighs. You ain't nothing but a beach whale frying all the time. Cool, Eddie. Oh, what you say, me and you get our Harleys and head out the nearest all you can eat Cajun smorgasbord. And now, um, Elvis has reverted back to his his younger form. It's fine. I guess I'll have to let you pass, but you better get out of here before I don't know why. It just went. I couldn't read it. It's good to see there's wacky intermissions in between all the wacky games. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, sports fans. Welcome to the World Champion Ping Competition. I'm your host, Howie Nozell, and I never played in something. Today we bring you a con consummate... Sorry. Today we bring you a consummation of culminated competition. And now let's go down to the field to meet your first opponent. He's a 500-pound sumo wrestler from Winnemucca, Nevada. Would you please welcome Mr. Tsunami Soul Sumi? Okay, those are tits. I I don't know if I want to do an impression of this character. I'll get a lot of fun emails after I do that. He's just he's doing car names, Japanese cars. That's nice. I ate too much last night. I feel like a giant beached squid on sunny day. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck this king. Okay, so sue me. Oh, I get it. So sue me. Don't get your diapers in a wad. Poor guy has never been in the same since he crushed, crushed his contact lenses. He claims his specs are officially authorized. Ping safety goggles. Yeah, right. And my hair is real. Okay, kids, let's have a clean fight. You can control your racket with your mouse. Control the direction of your return by where the ball contacts the racket. 
Similar to life, each player starts with love and progresses towards angst to win. Let the games begin! Ping. The agony of defeat. Ping. Ping. Thwack. Ping. Pong. This is the least Thwack. funny thing. Thwack. Pong. Ping. Pong. Ping. Thwack. I, I, your side is love, their side is acceptance. Thwack. Thwack. Ping. Ping. Thwack. Thwack. This is all, like no better than the plug and plagues that I've played in the past couple years. Pong. Ping. Pong. Thwack. Cock. Ball. The crowd is amazing. Oh my god, look at the crowd. <laughs> the guy in the middle. Pong. Ping. 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 Thwack. Ping, ping. I, I know why they. I, I get it. I get why there's like a. Ping, ping. It's called ping, because you know pong. You can't you you can't call it pong because that's taken. Ping. And pong. that might also be why there's certain characters. See. Thwack. Ping, ping. Did you get it? Pong, ping. It's real wacky. Ping, pong. How do, how do I stop this? Ping. Just just win, please. No, I don't want to try again. I'm I'm ready to visit the king. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Unspeakable. I contend that never has contemporary competition called such cowardice from the court combatants. It's like Floyd Mayweather versus uh McGregor. Just one of them runs away. Uh-oh, new wacky character. Hello there, I'm the Cheese King. Here at Cheeseland, we take pride in the fact that our cheese products are naturally 100% high in cholesterol. Our motto is food, folks, fat. May I take your order, please? <laughs> I would like an extra crunchy <laughs> cheese McNougat. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> I gotta go for the cheese McNougat, please. How would you like a cheese sickle to go with that? How about fruit cheese roll up? Here at Cheeseland, we are specialized in having it your way. How would you like to- would you like to join- I don't know why I keep reading this like this. Would you like to join our team and answer some ancient cheese riddles correctly? Make you official team member of Cheeseland. If you answer correctly, we'll dump you into a scalding hot vat of Swiss cheese fondue. How far- incorrectly. Sorry, I just want- I'm, I'm rushing through this because I want to see what- what happens next. A man rushes his son to the hospital after the boy ate an entire round of moldy mozzarella cheese. Upon arrival in the surgery room, the surgeon exclaims, I can't operate on this boy! It's my son! How can this be? The surgeon was blind. Wrong! For you called yesterday, I'll give you another chance. A man who likes American cheese stands looking at the portrait and says, Sons and brothers, I have none, but this person's father is my father's son! Who is it, the portrait? The man. Wrong answer! Who does have a break today? How about the double-double bypass? On a caraway clogged... Oh, sorry, caraway clogged arteries, whatever. A man carrying a jar of cheese bees walks a mile north, a mile east, and a mile west, and then a mile south. He ends up in the same place. What color is the bear he tripped over? Man, I love lateral thinking. I, I love what am I thinking questions. I'm afraid that is incorrect. Shall I warm up, warm up the bat for you, or would you like to try again? A plane full of Swiss cheese factory workers flies from Holland to Spain! It crashes into France! Where should survivors be buried? I 
I don't- uh, it's None of the below. Survivors aren't buried. Answer one more question correctly and you may continue your quest. What is four legs in the morning, two legs during the day, and three at night? A two-year-old jar of port wine cheese spread sitting in the back of your refrigerator. Well, a bed, walking, and then, I don't, I don't know, a man? That is correct! Why does the man have three legs? How long is this... How long is this Cheeseland team member? I mean, I'll continue your journey. Go now and may the Fontina be with you! Oh! Oh, a cane. I get it. Baby, adult. Right, and then, yeah, and then, uh, yeah. Because I get it now. It's that kind of lateral thinking. I, I had not heard these questions before. I did not hear that little, no! Is like halfway between riddle. Oh my god, that poor cat. Halfway between riddles and lateral thinking. Obstacles to shoot, use spacebar to fire rockets. Is that a gran- is that a granny? There's a gushing granny on- in a car. I don't care. Graphics in this game is best good, very good graphic. It's like a fake Rolling Stones um, keychain in the bottom right. Also, at least this minigame has music. Every game is fucking terrible in this collection. But I mean, I don't think I needed to tell you that. Oh, that's cool. So I get to shoot the animals, and then they explode, but I still can't run them over. It's okay, it's only 30 seconds left of this. Only 30 more seconds and we get to experience more amazing minigames and a wacky cast of characters. I just want to kill more things. Let me kill more things, please. Uh, it's time to visit the king again, I think. Good evening, ladies and germs. I'm Joke King, and it's really good to be here. Really, though, I'm very happy to be here. In fact, at my age, I'm happy to be anywhere. Oh, my God. Boy, what a good-looking crowd we got here tonight. Anybody from out of town? Uh, I'm with the carnival. Hey, you remind me of my brother. He's such a jerk. But seriously, it's a pleasure to meet me. How do you like my room? So exclusive, even the room service has an unlisted number. Ha! Ha! I got a million of them! Oh, like you could do better. Well, Mr. Funny Man, if you're so hilarious, why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Go ahead, the mic's all yours. I'll give you the setup. You do the punchline. If you answer correctly, I'll laugh. If you don't, I'll heckle your bony behind right out of this joint. This isn't an audience, it's... And my wife. You call that funny? Cucumber is funny. Cow is funny. Haiku is funny. But what you just said is not funny. My wife is so fat. My wife. Please. This is the answer right here. Please. I can't believe I'm answering my wife is so fat jokes in a video game. This is absolutely like just please. When she sits around the house, she really sits around the house. Well done. Just two more questions to answer. Take my wife. Please. <laughs> my arms are tired. 
I like the anti humor better. <laughs> For example, she's quite the cook. Take my wife around the house. I did, none of these are funny. <laughs> it's like the anti humor is so much better than the potential actual joke. Take my wife, my arms are tired. Hey, your jokes uh, may not sound like much, but then again, neither is my, do my laughs. Go back to your day job. If ugly were a country, you'd be... Please. Uh, um... New Guinea? Hey, you in the front row, are you in showbiz? Obviously not, so get your big fat foot off the stage. The first time I made love... Boy, were my arms tired. <laughs> oh! Fucking hell! I was alone. She really sat around the house! You gotta, like, you know, if you're gonna go for a joke, you gotta do multiple callbacks. You know what I mean? I was alone. Answer one more question correctly and you may continue your quest! That's no lady, that's my wife! Ah! You're killing me, stop! Hee hee, I give! Uncle, you can pass! Ho ho! That was a- that was a joke? Please. He has a rubber chicken on a string. He's this hilarious comedian. I'm- I am dying in- in the laughter. Because my arms are tired from being around the house, please. What? Now? I'm sorry, what is this? Hey, I'm Hank, and this is Frank. I'm with the steroid stallions, they're all bodybuilding it for everyone. But for stud boys like us, it's a way of life. So this is the second swole... <laughs> game? That's why we take massive amounts of steroids! <laughs> oh my god! What is this fucking game? Aldo, medical research. Uh, the steroid stallions have experienced virtually no adverse side effects. Ain't that right, Frank? I think that means yes, anyhow. Where's the secret to having rock hard glutes, ripped abs, and giant packs? Simple! After every steroid injection, we purge our bodies of all impurities. And that's where we need your help, but first you must take those micro-buff tabs that you got at the door! Yeah! Now that you've been reduced to the size of a pinhead, you're ready to enter the carnival cavity! Sorry, cranial cavity of a steroid stallion! Your mission is to destroy attacking steroid crystals before they destroy you. The more they hit, you hit, the healthier you will be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Stop this. Please. Please, no more. <laughs> You're now ready to voyage into the blood crystals where the steroid crystals are doing their damage. Sorry, blood vessels. I can't read tonight. It's too wacky for me. Don't let them nasty crystals touch any part of your body except for your fists, otherwise you'll blow up to the size of Red China. Wow. To avoid getting big crashes into them protein molecules, they decrease your size. You can also immobilize the steroid crystals with your power flex shield by pressing the space bar. And now the, uh, quote-unquote game portion. It's like shitty asteroids, and I, I mean that in the worst possible way. I want to see what happens when I get like massive. Like, will I grow so big that I just burst out of the fucking muscle swole? Because that would be great. Oh my god, look, 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 look at this! <laughs> look at what they're doing! <laughs> oh my god, the arms!
Oh, I couldn't. I can't type juicy. What? <laughs> now you do it. Look at me. Hey, Frank, you got any carrots? Never mind. Listen, you little kid. You better get back in there before it's too late. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, bud, what's up with you? What is- what stereotype have we got now? <laughs> Greetings, dude. I'm King What's Up, the Surf Barrow. So, like, what's going on? You know, work sucks, but it pays the bucks. You're probably wondering how Surf Dude became a pharaoh. Well, here's the beef. So there I was- oh god. So there I was, dude, hanging with some ho-dad locals, down Suez Way, eating some fish tacos, down on a veggie shake, when out of nowhere comes this humongous northwesterly swell breaking on the outside. I took one look, grabbed my stick, and headed for the most primo shred of my life. Meanwhile, a couple of bodacious babes are checking out my tubular action. Bro, I'm telling you, I was totally stoked. I knew the wave was my destiny. That's when it happened. I cut back on a lip on the lip and without warning, caught some serious air. We're talking aggro. The next thing you know, I'm washed up on some shore comatose before I could get a grip. Some Casper wraps me in industrial strength TP, then stuffs me in gnarly old coffin with some rank potpourri. Here's the deal, Barney. Who's Barney? You gotta get me back to the beach! Somebody got me confused with King Tut, the boy king. I'm King What's Up from San Afrinov. If you can answer some little known Egyptian trivia correctly, <laughs> the spell will be broken and I'll be back on my board in no time. Don't bogart, dude! I know you can do it! Where would Graceland be located if Elvis was born in Egypt? Memphis, Egypt. Well done! Just two more questions to answer. Please answer in the form of a question. A stone coffin often decorated with car rings. What is a sarcophagus? Answer one more question correctly and you may continue your class. Who was Ted Common's wife? Miss Tut. Are you going totally mental on me? Negatory earth bird on that one, dude. Better try again. Why is the thing that appears on King Tut's hardware? <laughs> Sorry, headwear. <laughs> An asp. Most excellent. You did it! The Dude King is free at last. I can hear the Shred Betty's calling my name already. Hey man, thanks a buttload, brah. I'm out of here. Asta dude! What a buttload of fuck this game is. Oh great, now it wants me to play more mini games. I don't I don't want to. I really, really don't want to. Ping. It's like just just barely ma made video games. Like ripoffs. Just, just shitty clones. You would think love and hatred would be the opposite side, but no, love and angst, apparently. No, I'm ready to visit the king. We have to find another wacky character. I'm sure there, there's another. Here we go. Oh, the king is... Why is the king a gorilla? Good evening, my dear fellow. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh, God. Jolly good to see you, old boy. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sir King Kong, ruler of Bananarama Land. It is indeed my utmost pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is fitting, considering I just saw fucking War for the Planet of the Apes, which was a good but dumb movie, by the way. I hate to be a bore, but I'm afraid you are trespassing on sacred gorilla ground. It is with my deepest apologies that I must test your mental faculties with the royal rite of passage. Now, don't dismay, Geekwad. If you answer incorrectly any of your any of the answers, your odious human flesh will not be consumed. Right. <clears throat> but it just may be the right 
garnish to liven up my banana bangers. So, so much for small talk. Let the games begin. Ronald Reagan co-starred with this chimpanzee in a 1950s feature film. What? What the fuck? Why, why am I supposed to know this? Uh, B B Bonzo? Well done! Just two more questions. Gorillas... Are, are primarily vegetarians. So one more question correctly and you may continue your quest! What was the name of the playful ja the chimpanzee in the Japanese cartoon Speed Racer? Chim Chim. Bloody good show, my dear fellow! A dashing good choice! I do say so myself. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! Run along now, to ta cheerio and all that rot! I hate everything. Ping! Thwack. This is the very worst of the worst. Thwack. When it comes to, like, comedy. Pong. Because it, <laughs> it fancies itself a comedy game. Ping. But at least I know all about monkey facts. You know, simian and, and ape Ping. facts. Again, Ping. you know, monkeys are pretty cool. Cheerio. I guess we're gonna visit the king. Please let there be no more. Oh my god. Howdy, partner. There's a new king in town. Oh. Some call me the Duke of Wainington, but you can call me the king. I'm afraid old King Wacky is about to be put out of his misery. Let's face it, he's been looking road hard and uh, put put away wet for quite some time. For a young hombre still wet behind the sombrero, you're doing pretty good. Question is, are you ready for the final roundup? <laughs> Answer the questions correctly and the old King Wacky may still have a chance. Answer wrong and it's showdown of the OK Corral for you, pilgrim. Ha <laughs> ha And high noon, what takes place at 12 o'clock? A shootout. I know what you're gonna say, everyone. Well done. Just two more questions. Who fought the wild bunch single-handedly? I don't know. William Holden? I reckon it's time for you to be thinking about what your tombstone's gonna read. This is your last chance. Saloon, me amigo. Who played Doc Holliday in Gunfight at the OK Corral? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen that fucking movie. I saw the Val Kilmer interpretation. Was it John Wayne? This town ain't big enough for uh, uh, the both of us. I suggest you quit while you're still ahead. In what western movie did Clint Eastwood sing? East Eastwood. Oklahoma? These boots were made for stomping, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna stomp all over you. Who played Maverick in the TV show of the same name? Uh, I would say Tom Cruise, but it's probably James Garner. Yeah. Will Gear co-starred with this mountain man and Jeremiah Johnson. Please answer in the form of a question. Why, why in the form of a question? Robert Redford? That's it. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. I reckon it's time for old Cowpoke to head over to the sunset. I never wanted wacky, stupid kingdom anyhow. I just wanted people to like me. You better get along, little doggy, while you're getting's good. Why don't you play another game and I'll go see what I can do about the putting King Wacky in the saddle or something like that. I don't fucking know. Happy trails, pilgrim. What? I have to wonder. Is this a game for kids? Pong. Like, what's the market? What's the audience for this game? Ping. That they would ask trivia of, like, TV what? shows and movies from the 50s. Ping. Pong. Thwack. Pong. Thwack. There is gore. Remember that. We just saw fucking, like, roadkill. Like, severe roadkill gore. And it's over. Kill the fatted calf. You've returned. What the fuck is this? Hey there. Good to see you, Geekbot. It's me, King Wacky. Boy, do I feel great. That nasty duke is gone for good. Thanks to you, I can now get back to business. Why does this king look different? 
And let me tell you, business is booming. Our cash flow and earnings are skyrocketing, and I've been on the shoe phone all morning cutting deals left and right. Is this Freddie Mer- is this Tom Selleck? Lionel Richie? I don't know who it is. Truly a banner day. Everybody wants a copy of Wacky Funsters. My Enchanted King, nice name drop. Once again, is wacky and fun for all ages uh, to enjoy, except for the gore. Thanks to you, Geekwad, I think we definitely have a win-win situation. Quite the power negotiator. In your case, quality is job one. I would really like to uh, make you a key player, but first you must prove yourself worthy one last time. Why don't you and I do a little Q&A? Answer correctly, I'll make you a chief executive officer of Team Wacky. Please no. What does Joke King hold in his right hand? A microphone. Well done. Two more questions. What item should you not shoot in roadkill? Ambulance. One more. What was hanging off the glove compartment in the interior of Geekwad's car? A pair of... A Rolling Stones... A Rolling Stone air freshener. Good. Wow, it's it's Rolling Stone! Non-copyright, because there's no... It's not the stones, it's just one stone. We're dialed in for a sequel. Fuck you. That was certainly robust and compelling. You really know how to swim with the sharks without getting eaten. A paradigm shift has definitely occurred. I dub you the official CEO of Wacky Funsters. You are free to roam my kingdom at your leisure. Have fun. How about fuck you? <sighs> Good thing they never made a sequel to that bullshit. No, wait, they did. Oh. Long, 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 way long ago in a galaxy really super far away. Long before there were whoopee cushions and rubber chickens, there was the kingdom of wacky funsters. Please stop. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. It exists. I had to do it. But alas, the kingdom is now conflict in conflict, and there is only one dweeb who can save it. I mean, it's a Star Wars parody right off the bat, and it doesn't sound like Star Wars music. Come on, get it right! <laughs> it's wacky! Is that the Rocketeer? But the music is funny. Someone made this music with the thought that it would be funny, wacky music that would make kids and, and adults alike laugh and enjoy life. Like, self-referential comedy is just terrible. Alright, so it looks a little different. Wobby the Wobot. King Wacky. Wait a minute. Kaka. What's this shit? Cocked. Okay. No, that's the original King. Carl Raygun. Oh no. It's Carl Sagan. It's a parody of Carl Sagan. Why would they do that to him? Greetings, I'm Carl Reagan, science officer and chief cosmetologist of the starship Wacky. What can I do for you? Play B Fender. Have fun. I am Saddam Holstein, commander in chief of the Bovine Liberation Organization. I am fucking what? The, the, you want to suck this cock clean? This you come on. Give up now or die. Good backstory. And it's just another collection of rip-off games. It's just 
just, yep, just, just Defender. It's exactly Defender. With a wacky story. Oh, wow, you can actually stop a game. The bridge. Okay. You can actually stop a game mid-game. Yurtle. I, I guess this is a Yoda parody. Yurtle's my name. Starship Wacky Counselor I am. Backwards talk I. You may I help? Wait, I know this. Why is this music familiar? It's, it's, it's almost sounds like Final Fantasy VII music. Space solicitors. Fun you'll have! What a sweetheart. You are for protecting my house from them persistent door-to-door -door solicitors. Uh-oh, looks like those pesky cupcake girls are back again. I've had my fill of cookies. Stand by the window and flick a few quarters at them. That'll keep them from making it to the front door. More just stolen, stolen games. But you're flicking quarters at, at like Girl Scouts. Mental. And this is like kind of before plug and play. You know what I mean? Like this is this is like action 52 level of quality almost. Thank you, darling. You're so helpful. Oh dear, if it ain't them obnoxious paper boys, be a peach and see if they'll come back later. Right now I have to uh, right. Baseball player kids. Excellent. Do I think this is a cash grab, a cynical cash grab, or is this a, le a legit attempt? I don't know. I, I, I kind of can't tell. Part of it seems kind of earnest. Maybe they just didn't know how to make games, and they just so they just copied other games. I really- I couldn't tell you, it's- I Milton Fiddles Fiddles Transport Ensign of Starship Wacky and world-renowned space traveler. Hey, how may I assist you? Uh, we need to do trivia with the old sci-fi flick trivia. Ex-leader of geriatric dysfunctional samurai turtles, I am. Guide you, I will. But first, check I must your trivia skills. Come and gone in many a sci-fi movie. Answering questions regarding my favorite three helps set the king free. Who was the voice of Darth Vader? Okay, now this is this is exactly my type of trivia. James Earl Jones. What character did Alec Guinness play in Star Wars? Obi-Wan Jojaba the Beef. <laughs> ben Kenobi. On a memorable Halloween night, what famous radio show did Orson Welles broadcast? War of the Worlds. Red wire to pull before yellow. Okay, so we gotta remember that. Red wire to pull before yellow. We're gonna save the fucking king. Did you know that there are millions and billions of stars and an innumerable amount of galaxies within our universe? 
Perhaps at one time life as we know it existed only as a swirling cup of primordial soup. Now I'd like to see what you know by correctly answering three questions regarding the cosmos with a capital C. How long is a day on Mercury? It's like 59, um, oh, a day. Uh, was it like 50, 59 Earth days? Yeah. If your well-greased, heat-shielded skateboard was capable of traveling the speed of light, how many times could you circle the Earth in one second? Um... Like, three times? No? What's the answer to that question? Chat, does anyone know? Is it a hundred? Seven. Oh, the answer was seven. Okay. Apparently your brain is a swirling chasm of atoms and molecules converging into eternal nothingness. Perhaps you should read my book. In his work entitled Amalogust, this man wrongly proposed that the Earth was at the center of the universe. Name that man the Prince of Persia. You mean it's not? Let's say Copernicus. Fuck. Evolution has not treated you well, my friend. Your ability to naturally select the correct answer is a trifle faulty. If you were able to drive your car to the sun, how long would it take to get there, assuming you observe the 55 mile per hour speed limit? What the fuck, son? Copernicus said the opposite. I thought Copernicus maybe proposed it and then someone else corrected him. I don't remember. I get my facts confused. Um, yeah, I don't fucking know. I, this is like, I'd have to really do some math here. The sun is seven light minutes away from the earth. That doesn't help. He wants me to go 55 miles an hour. 193 years, no potty breaks. That was too specific for it not to be the answer. What is the common name for Ursa Major? That's the Big Dipper. Here's your clue. Red duct tape releases white correction fluid bottle. Someone needs to screen cap all these clues. I got a raging clue right now. Take me to the bridge! Buzz. The monolith bubbus. Yo. Captain Major Buzz Armstrong here. Navigation officer for the Starship Wacky. What can I do for you? Play Flemings. Flemings? Hello, I'm Dr. Murray O. Grozowitz. Ear, nose, and throat specialist. It looks vaguely like Bill Murray. What do you say we play a round of golf on the planet Flem? You can tee off. I thought this was gonna be Lemmings. Oh, that's, that's, like, space snot. I get it. Flemings. I'm original with my names. This music kind of reminds me of perfect dark music. Oh, well, it did for a second. So you gotta golf them out of the way without actually hitting them. Or not, without it actually touching them, I should say. And then you can clean. <laughs> you can get clean using the rag. What a wretched game this is. Take me to the bridge. Earth lasts. Take pictures, leave only footprints. Um, okay everybody, this is our last stop before Alpha Centauri. If you need to use the best a the rest area, now's the time. Uncle Bimo, if you're gonna smoke them cancer sticks, you, be you best do it outside the shuttle. I don't want to sell any cancer sticks! <laughs> oh my god. So, so it's a massive alien Fleming onto the Earth. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Just want to play video games. Just want to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, he's barfed into a brown paper bag. That's good. <laughs> Will I success? Will I success and complete a minigame for the first time throughout this entire session? I don't care, is the correct answer. And we continue. This time, no snot. Whatever. Just, just do it. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Oh, I was unable to beat G. G was. Alright, take me to the. Mysteries of Earth trivia. Okay. Everybody there was so friendly. Here's some. A uh, guy named Elvis. I don't care. Which of the following was not a major cause for extinction of the dinosaurs? Food poisoning. The speculated. It is speculated the Great Pyramids of Egypt were built as. tombs. Or giant energy conductors. <laughs> built by aliens, of course. India's Taj Mahal was built to serve as. No. Which is not speculated cause of spontaneous human combustion. I've heard about this. I was listening to the Maynard slash Rogan podcast, and they literally talked about spontaneous combustion today. I'm gonna say s sunspots. The gerbil should only be deactivated after all the wires have been pulled. Take me to the bridge. What do you mean the gerbil? How much more of this shit is there? There's, there's still a, there's still some people left. Still some mini games. We're gonna do this quick space exploration exploration trivia. I can no longer read. How cold can it get on the dark side of the moon? Like way cold. Negative one fifty. No, okay. 1962. Friendship Seven space capsule orbited Earth three times. Who was aboard that ship? That's John Glenn. Vince Neil, yeah, Vince Neil was on there from fucking Motley Crew. How many Americans have walked on the moon? Like, 12? Um... 1961, who reportedly became the first American astronaut to wet his pants in a space capsule? I don't fucking know. Alan Shepard? Release the cyber spring after the first wire has been pulled and before the second wire. Eat a dick! Take me to the bridge! Cyber geek. Get lost. Don't bother me right now. What am I supposed to be doing? How many times do I have to tell you? Try to save the king. If you want King Wacky free, you'll have to prove you're a better gamer than me. There are five wacky arcade games located on the Starship Bridge. Using your pointer, you can click on each of the crew members assigned to the game. They have their orders to answer all your stupid questions. One of them tries to help save the king. I'll have him drawn and quartered. Could we act like we haven't met each other? Okay. But remember, you don't know me. So, Geekwad, we finally meet face to face. Who are you and what have you done with King Wacky? Look, this is us. And this represents the player. The gamers. Geek versus... Sorry, Geekwad versus Cyber Geek. It's a wonder this didn't become a long-running franchise.
Okay. Okay. More text. Yep. Who's Isaac? Dr. Isaac Clap and Clappy. Clap off. Oh, whatever. Play Grogger. Welcome aboard. Name's Rosie. Chief cook and bottle washer on Grogger's Club. Grub and Gruel. I can't... I can't deal with this, and it's making me very impatient. And I don't want to read any of this stuff. I don't actually want to give it the proper attention. Like, I'm- I'm resistant. My attention span... is low. And this game doesn't deserve it. <laughs> and, uh, of course we have another rip-off minigame. I just want to get the text over with every time I get to it. Uh, Isaac, you have questions for me, right? Science fiction trivia. Okay, who proposed that every action has an equal and opposite reaction? Um, Newton? Which science fiction novel was not written by H.G. Wells? The Invisible Man? Oh. Probably the third one. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451, the totalitarian government... Totalitarian government tries to control the masses by doing what? Burning books? And which of the following was not written by Michael Crichton? I don't know. I know he wrote Jurassic Park and Westworld. Possibly Close Encounters. I, I don't know. The Andromeda Strain? No. Which book did Arthur C. Clarke not write? Was there an Odyssey 3? I didn't know there was another Odyssey book! If you drop a penny and a bowling ball from the top of the Empire State Building at the same time, which would hit the ground first? They travel at the same speed. That's science fiction? Don't spill the corrective... Fluid bottle on the gerbil. Take me to the bridge. Okay. I, I, I have to see Wobby the Wobot. May I help you? I'm Wobby the Wobot, engineering officer of Starship Wacky. Please excuse my peach impediment. My inventor programmed me incorrectly. Oh my God! Robot trivia. In the movie Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, what type of aliens attacked Earth? I don't know. Six million dollar man were not bionic. Um, his ears. In the movie 2010, what was the name of the female computer? Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't... I didn't watch 2010. Val 9000? <laughs> I don't know! Which show did the original Robbie the Robot not appear in? What was the name of the robot in Tsunami's hit software product, Protostar? Yeah, hit software. It's- it's John. John Robot. In 2001 Space Odyssey, what game did HAL 9000 want to play? Chess. 2001, what is HAL 9000's pathological fear? The fear of being turned off. Don't touch coat hangu. Oh, okay, that's enough of that. Great. Alright, well, King Wacky. So we gotta cut the red... We gotta... There's a gerbil? Eh, it doesn't matter. Turns out, I know exactly how to do this. You cheater! What the heck do you think you're doing? Why, I ought to blow this bomb up right here and now! Uh, did you think that looking at Geekwad... ...his would help- what the fuck? Oh, that's a website. Would help you? I know your hard drive liked the back of your eyelids. It was a trap and you fell for it, you fool! You're so stupid that I'm afraid I can't allow you to live because it would be unfair to the morons of this universe. Die, die, die! 
Good ending. Everyone is dead. No. Oh, it's just too goddamn easy to have them come back. Is there a- is there a real code? Like, I can't seem to cut wires. I don't see any gerbils or coat hangers. I think I have to get a high score in the minigames. You can't change the C. This, it starts with C. You can't enter the word wacky. So it's gonna start with the letter C. Oh, I have it. I think I got it, guys. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I'm hacking in a TV show. Got it. Whoops. I can't cyber with the king. Well, I don't think I can actually do this because I need to unlock all the other nonsense. So... That's it. It's over. That is the Wacky series. Luckily, this series died at this game. And thus, we never had to endure another game of wacky funsters ever again. Crazy? It would be crazy! It would be. If it's not wacky, it would be crazy. The password is crazy. Is it really? Or are you just saying that? Because I will load back up my ass into this, and then we'll try it. I'm gonna try it. One more time. This is the last time we ever have to see this game. Oh, look, it saved. Crazy. <laughs> no, it's not crazy. I think it's just cheat. That's it. I, I don't- I'm not worried about it. We don't need to see the ending. The king gets free, everyone's disappointed. I read a line of dialogue incorrectly, I get angry at myself, and then we end the game. Simple as that. Okay. Alright. It's wacky. You, can, you can't change the letter C. It starts with the letter C. The letter C was- was stuck. Alright, listen, anyway, that was wacky, and I hate everything about what I just played, but I'm gonna hate the next segment a whole lot more. We're going back into the 300 arcade games, Cosme 300 arcade games, but we're gonna take a quick break, and then we'll get there. So, stick around a couple minutes, and we'll dive back in for part two of Cosme's whatever <laughs> 